Happening, Connor? Why, why aren't I here? Uh, you haven't got you, you are here, Kipper. Oh, yeah. you are. No, you are. Yeah, I've changed back. my name. Yeah. I've changed my name to 40R. Yeah, <laughs> that's really strange, huh? And you yeah. put a light on now, we can see you nearly. Well, they got all the lights on, they got these bloody you know, econ right? economy lights or what? But, you know, Eco lights, you know, stick another candle in the holder. Put another ten. Put another fifty p in the slot, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Candle in the wind. Yeah. So where's this we'll be, biscuit? We'll be there, biscuit, won't we? What was that? We'll be there. Of course, we will. Candle in the wind. <laughs> yes, very good. Yes, Elton John. Yes, right. well done. Yeah. I, t I take you mean in now. Yeah, I'll, I'll wave to you from my seat. There we are. Hey, are you going to go and see Elton John, are you? Yeah. Well, if, if you remember, it's a long time away yet, Con. Huh? It's a long time away. It's like, uh, what is it, April next year or something, is it? It's good. I can't remember now. I, guess I can't you remember where it was. was. I can see There's the both of you already. Get, then, anyway. You can see the both of you getting all really excited already. Look at him, he's trembling in his seat. Yeah. I remember, uh, I think this will be my third attempt. Because we booked, we booked for Birmingham, um, which was cancelled. And then it was moved, because he wasn't coming to Swansea at that stage. And then it was moved to, I think it's, September or October this year, um, but it was indoors in in Birmingham Arena, and um, and then obviously Swansea came available. So we, well, you you've got to sell your tickets back to uh, Ticketmaster, and I think they were quite happy because like you don't get what you paid for them. And uh, and then got tickets for the Swansea dot com stadium. Excellent. So, uh, you can't you know, call it Swansea dot com. Huh? You can't call it that, can you? Oh, uh, you you've got uh, they changed it from the Liberty to Swansea dot com. Con. <laughs> um, that's the new catchy name for it. Swansea are full of things. It's like a LC one. Yeah, so yeah. They renamed it LC2. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, Swansea.com. Um, oh, we're at the Swansea.com stadium tonight. Watch uh, Swansea play in uh, Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. Swansea.com, yeah. Oh, it, I, it I still brings out that, like, like Anfield or, you know, Tra Old Trafford. Swansea.com, it sort of ring, rolls yeah. off the tongue, doesn't it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, but people will still be calling it Liberty in 10 years' time, won't they? Uh, as I say, I'm still calling it White Rock. So yeah, I still call it the Vetch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> there are people. There are people that still say that. <laughs> Great. Yeah. How did they get on yesterday? Anyway, uh, nil nil. No score. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so that's good. Result over. Hello. Was that a good result? Was it expected? I wasn't. Or... I wasn't expecting anything to be honest with you. But um, I know there's a lot of negativity. I know we're not interested in football, or at least most of us aren't interested in football. But um, I, I thought they played quite well. But there's a lot of negativity because they only got one shot on target in 94 minutes. Yeah. Well, I think that's justified, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty really negative. Isn't it? I mean, they, 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 you're probably not up to this, Con. They're in a funny situation with the, the owners and investments and or no investments. And they had these things called parachute payments 
that they got from coming down from the Premier League for three years, I think they go on. And yeah. they finished. So they, and that was quite, I don't know, it was, was it about 15, 20 million in total? Biscuit? Uh, something like that one. It was I a think lot. it's more than that, isn't it? I yeah. think. What, the players? No, it goes to the club. Oh, all right. To, because they'd have, they'd have a lot of costs and uh, players leave and uh, different things like academies they would have set up. Mm. Then they have to they got to carry on financing them. So these payments are trying to sort of protect them from going bust in the interim period. Although nobody really knows what happens to that money. Mm. But fo- mm. football clubs are strange now. I mean, they were talking about um, uh, Barcelona who were, who were running the, their players' wages are 110 percent of the takings that they get through the gate. So they lose in 10 percent every time they play, basically. <laughs> they, sound, they still, sound business problem. Based. Well, they, they've been going for a long time, but uh, obviously they've got other things to raise money, but that's that's the way the football world at the moment. I think, they, well, I think, most, think yeah, most of the big companies, uh, football teams like that, it's like like Manchester United, most of their money is made from abroad. Yeah. You know, yeah. merchandising. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, like, if... I know there's, like, talk. I remember when when they, when they were deep in the shit and they needed money urgently, there was, like, half a dozen people put... I can't remember... I can't remember what the figure was. It ten thousand or was it hundred thousand each? Or I think they put ten thousand each. Yeah, they put money into it, and and due to I don't know, maybe good manage, maybe a bit of good management, but a lot of luck. We we sort of got to the promised land eventually in the Premiership, and and everything in the garden was rosy, and then you get. These people wanted to sell because their ten thousand pound investment was now worth something like two hundred thousand pound. So they wanted to sell their their shares to recoup that money, and I think out of they were mostly money people, but I think the only one that wasn't at the time a money person was Lee Deneen, wasn't it? Well, and he, yeah. he was the only one they reckon that to borrow the money from somewhere, remortgage the house or something, um, to be able to put his money in. So you can imagine those people then, they wanted their money out. But they were they were sort of advised that if you leave it in now, instead of having 200,000, you could be looking at 500,000. So they all decided to leave their money in for a couple of years more. This is what I was told. And then when the Yanks came in, the the Yanks, these two blokes, um, they they looked at the club. What was the um, what was the the value in the club? Which at the time was its was its players. So they said, right, well, all those players together are worth more than what they could buy the club for. So it it sounds like a good investment then, as long as you don't give a shit what happens to the club. You buy the club for £60 million and you recoup your money by selling off the cream of the squad. And then anything else you make, bearing in mind that you're probably going to get relegated, but then the parachute payments that you get for three years after being relegated, it's going to more than double your investment. So that's what they just seem to be. they just people that come in with an investment and they don't really give a toss what happens to the club. It's basically making profit on their investment. They call businessmen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about football. No, no. Uh, the unfortunate thing is now they've been reg- like the the ones he's talking about. I think it's five of them took. I think about two point two million. I think for these ten thousand, Dineen got. I think. Yeah. But, uh, 
Uh, but now the club is not worth anything like what they paid for it. So they're, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment. Uh, yeah. And, and there was a rumour a while back that the people that put the money in initially are sort of quite happy for the value of the club to go down to virtually nothing as it was before. And then they will make an offer to buy the club back off the Yanks. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's that's the rumour on the... Well, yeah, I think Swansea, Swansea yeah. Trust is trying to do something like that at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Whether it'll happen or not, I don't know. But all I look at is, you know, in, in my lifetime, you know, I had a season ticket down the Swans when we were in the old Division 4, um, before John Tarshak came here. Um, so, you know, I had a season ticket through that rise from Division 4 to the First Division. Um, a great first season in the First Division, not such a great second season. But, you know, followed them all the way back down again. And then in the... You know, in latter years, the same thing has happened again. You know, there's probably not many people that have seen that happen twice in their lifetime. No. Well, you're a punishment, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's a fan. <laughs> no, it's, it's good, it's good mem- memories, I think. I, I, I've always said, to be honest, I'd rather watch them play in Division 2 with local talent that want to play for the club rather than mercenaries turning up, demanding ludicrous wages. Club means nothing to them. All this badge kissing crap that goes on um, because they all love the club until another club offers them another flipping, I don't know, £10,000 a day. Mm. More. Well, there we are. I so done my remember. go on. I done my bit for Swansea City Football Club. I used to sell programs. There we are. Yeah, I did that for a couple of years until I got fucking yeah. beat up by the Arsenal supporters. Yeah, the Saints and Arsenal came. Yeah, <laughs> that was like class. That was a good one. That was shit, man. Don't yeah. want to fuck about with those buggers. Yeah. I threw all my under a car. <laughs> They came back, mm-hmm. they were still there. <laughs> hey. uh, what was that? Who, me? Yeah. I said, I, I threw all mine under a car. Yeah. <laughs> I just I threw mine in. I threw I mine in. in the, yeah, um, keep the fuckers, keep the fuckers. <laughs> I was in the, in the shop doorway by on Maddox Street. <laughs> I seen them all come in and uh, they were running down the road. So I threw the programs and legged it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got in that the papers. All... We got in the papers as well, Mike. I think it was yeah. all in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. In, uh, in program yeah. sellers were abused or some or robbed, and yeah. Yeah. that was always the best fall- policy when it came to fight. Then, yeah. running, I think, didn't it, yeah, running like hell. They came to the market <laughs> and ripped the market apart. I yeah, think. he took it to shreds. I think Clive Perman was telling me about it, but they just came in and started throwing everything all over the place. But, uh, yeah. Good old yeah. days, eh, boys? <laughs> Sorry? Good old days. Oh, yeah, great well, times. Yeah. You're marvellous. Well, <laughs> I was saying this to somebody the other day. But they said, oh, we don't do that. It's a bit dangerous. But I said, well, that's what makes life interesting, isn't it? You yeah. do something. You either make an ass of yourself. Or you do something that gets you into some sort of scrape that you always remember. If you never do those things, you don't have any memories like that, do you? No. A la chickens outside the shop. Mm. Yeah. If you didn't open that bag, you wouldn't have had that story. No. Exactly. Mm. Great. Yeah. Tell me, Biscuit. Primo and myself are intrigued by your background photo. Is that one of your own art pieces? Yeah, that's my that's from the back bedroom window. All right, tidy man. Doesn't doesn't look very local. Well, it is. Is it? 
Yeah. Go out, go out gold. If I could pick up my monitor and hold it to the back bedroom window. Although it looks like <laughs> different now because the trees are in leaf, but uh... <laughs> you've got sun there. We, you never have sun up that way. No, I thought I thought yeah. Cockney was always in the misty mountains, like, and it's always covered in a, a thin, oh, no, no. No. mystical mist. No, I actually went through Cockney today. Was it? I held my nose driving through, but... Oh, right.